Welcome everybody, it is me, RP Jimmy. I am the guy on the bottom left of your screen. See that official RP Jimmy, and we're here for some more wrestle quest as well as uh, I should say with Bill. How are you doing, Bill? Hello, I'm um, hello everyone. <laughs> I'm doing good. Yeah, I messed that one up. I'm so like cause this is only the second time that I'm trying that I'm used to this whole VTuber thing. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm still kind of testing waters out. So, Bill, tell me how your day was while we, uh, while I set up here. It has been a busy, busy day today. We are getting set up for our town's annual yard sale tomorrow. Uh, we've been setting tents up. We've been going through stuff, figuring out what we're going to sell, what we're going to keep. Um, it has been very busy today. I have some stuff that I will be selling tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be gone by the time we do this again. All right, very good. So let's talk a little bit about the event first while I, um, adjust my, my, my little avatar here. How do you feel about this event, Backlash? Oh my, okay. I'm going to say this as nicely as possible. This may be the most predictable pay-per-view, I think, ever. Really? Yeah. Okay. I really feel that way. Like, the, the one match I'm looking forward to is the main event. Mm -hmm. That's the one I'm looking forward to the most. Right, okay. But this just feels so predictable. Um, How many matches are there right now? For Five. Five, okay. Uh, so what do you, do you, what makes it feel like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of it because I'm trying to fix this thing now. Again, we're live everyone, so, uh, I don't know, let's get, go more into detail because I gotta try to fix this. And by the way, the good, okay. the good news for everyone is, uh, that might have tuned in last time, is I already have the rope for the kid. So we're gonna get right into it right after I, I fix these, these settings that I want to fix. Yeah. What? to me makes it pretty predictable number one is three of the four title matches hmm, excuse me three of the four title matches it's their first title defense the champion mm -hmm. so it's kind of like okay I, I'm pretty sure I know where it's gonna go and then on the fourth one, there's a real good chance of a title switch. Mm -hmm. right. Like, yeah, there's like one that I'm not so sure of, but I think I know how it'll go, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll get into it in just a little bit, so let's see. I know it's a little off on the bottom left, but whatever. I want to start this thing. So you have to... Bill, I think last time you had mentioned about we were kind of debating if there were two ropes, and there were. Mm -hmm. There was one in a box, so I had to find the second rope. Because right. if you only had one rope, you don't go far enough. Oh wait, let me before I before I go on, let me make sure my people are healed. They're not. I'm just gonna use one duct tape for Brink. Yeah. And we're also going to talk about the Clusterfuck Battle Royal in a little bit. Yes. <laughs> I think we're going to wait on that one till like 7.30-ish. Yeah. Okay, so let's springboarding. Let's get, let's get the story rolling, Bill. All right. Here we go. Spring! All right, there we go. Yeah. Don't worry, Papa is here. That makes it seven. Oh yes, now you get to do all the family. Great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good thing I got a nice tall glass of water. Husband, you are magnificent. <laughs> 
get deported. You're depressed. Here, I'll be. I'll give you a break. I'll be Feral Flusto. Uh, what is he? A dog? It looks like a dog. Oh, okay, so I'm talking this. A truly impressive display, to be sure. Oh, the bull. Yeah, you're behind the stampede, aren't you, Feral Fosto? Oh, them? Here, Chin the Chinampo Chimp will call them off. Okay. Uh, please forgive me. I thought they would add a bit of excitement to the LCW event. A few stops past what your family, a few steps past what your family was setting up. Okay. You knew they would be here. My friend, I had no idea the herd would cause such a ruckus, or that they would disturb your family so. Don't even speak of them, you. Mia, Ma, please, John, let's just go home. The kids are safe. There's all the matters. Love it. This isn't over, Vero Fosto. You and your hamburger will pay for this. Wow. Wow. Pay him no mind, Shinapo Champ. The stress of the road must be getting to him. Ha ha ha! Go to San Sebastian on the plateau to the east. So, backlash to me. I think it seems okay. Uh, I, I guess I'm kind of with you with the predictability. Although I feel like there's probably been a card in the past that probably is... More predictable. More predictable, yes. I, I I can't think of one off the top of my head. Yeah. Though, but I'm sure it's gotta there's gotta be it's gotta be there. I thought I was leaving. Oh yeah, the, yeah. I gotta go east, right? Yeah. Alright, so let's get to the first match. And Bill, every time that we start a new match, we'll um I'll have you start just by default before I get my thoughts. Okay. So I'm going to put in the chat what our first match is. Yep. We'll discuss. As soon as I can figure out how to type. <laughs> is there no there's no pre-show? No no pre-show announced. That's surprising. Uh if if there is, it'll probably be after we are done. Wait, I just realized something. Before we go into the matches. Wait, mm -hmm. is this where I'm going? Slam not a you oh no. Before we do that, SmackDown's happening, right? It's yeah, already, it already, it's already it already it's, happened. It hasn't aired yet here in the U.S. All right, so spoiler alert for anyone that hasn't seen SmackDown. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go. Uh, we're going to spoil it right now because I'd like to know the results before if we're going to do a proper pre-show. Okay, happens. yeah. Let me let me pull that up real quick. Okay. So, because I did read them. A little while ago. I did not, so this will all be new okay. to me. So, oh, this is um, going. now do you want match results or, like, everything? everything. Or... Okay. Well, then we're going to talk now, so. Yeah. Okay, so SmackDown began with Cody Rhodes, AJ Styles, Randy Orton, and Kevin Owens arriving to the building. Okay. Then we go right into our first... Oh, me. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you again for helping me, amigos. You may be Logans, but you will forever be Loaches to me. It's an honor. Now, I must take my leave to meet with Senor Ramon, the owner of LCW, and give him a piece of my fin about this stampede business. Carido, do you have to go now? Please, help me take the children home first, at least. Eh, you're right. I sometimes forget how hard it is to wrangle them sometimes. Your ability to do so never ceases to amaze me, Carino. 
and it would be good for them to see their father. I wonder when the last time that they saw their father was. I know, right? Okay. Yep. Back to the results. Let's go on a quest. So the first match was an eight Ooh, woman. Like that. Look at this. Living La Vida Locha. Ooh. I like that name. All right, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> so the first match was an eight woman tag match. Bailey, Naomi, Bianca Belair, and Jade Cargill defeated Tiffany Strat in damage control. Okay. Uh, baby faces won despite tension between them during the match. Wait, so uh, who's, these who are... is that? Who's the who won? Bailey, Naomi, Bianca Belair, and Jade Cargill. Okay. Uh, Grayson okay. Waller. So wait. So, so, oh, anyway, sorry. Okay, we'll talk about it later. Go ahead. Uh, Grayson Waller and Austin Theory cut a backstage promo. And then Kayla Braxton interviewed Bel Air and Cargill ahead of their title match against Asuka and Kyrie Sane at Backlash. Bel Air got flustered when Bailey and Naomi came into the room, but Cargill calmed her down. Okay. Then we stay backstage where Carmelo Hayes said that he wants to be in the King of the Ring tournament. Yes, the King of the Ring is back, Jim. I know, I heard well, it, and we'll be back for that, apparently. We'll talk about that yeah. later as well. Yeah. Uh, Bobby Lashley told Hayes to call him if he needs anything or if he needs any advice. Hayes said he appreciates Lashley, but thinks he has it figured out himself. After a back and forth, Lashley warned Hayes to be careful who he disrespects. Okay. All right. Uh, then we go to the next match. It was a tag match. The Authors of Pain defeated Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate. Okay. Uh, do we have a? Oh, we have a speaking thing here. No, okay. no, no, no. I'm. I, I'm. I thought this oh. was the store, but. Right. Now I'm confused because it's also a show, but I guess I can't do anything to it yet. Yeah. All right. I'll, um, I'll let you know when there's a speaking thing. Okay. So, after that, Paul Heyman met with SmackDown General Manager Nick Aldis. Aldis denied Heyman's request to cancel the Owens and Orton versus Solo Sokoa and Tama Tonga match that set for Backlash. In response, Heyman said he isn't responsible for what happens to Owens and Orton. It was revealed during the interaction that Heyman and Roman Reigns haven't spoken since WrestleMania. Okay. Heyman said Reigns didn't pull himself out of or from the draft. Heyman did it on his own to keep Reigns out of the chaos that's going on in the bloodline. Mm -hmm. Aldis said that if Heyman can do that on his own, he should get Owens and Orton to remove themselves from Backlash. Okay. I mean, Which leads... Yeah, I'm confused by all of this. <laughs> Which leads to Paul Heyman appearing as Kevin Owens and Randy Orton's guest on the RKO show. Okay. They questioned if Heyman was trying to get them to forfeit the Backlash match. A brawl between Owens and Orton and Sokoa and Tonga broke out. The Street Profits then cut a backstage promo. And then we have the next match. LA Knight defeating Angel. After the match, Knight declared for King of the Ring. Santos Escobar also declared for the tournament. I guess we're just giving up on having qualifiers. Maybe they've been doing that. I don't know. You can just declare I, yourself in. Yeah, like the Royal Rumble. Which, by the way, I have to say, um, I have an announcement for you, Bill, just so you know. Oh, so, if there ever becomes a case and, like, World War Three breaks out, mm -hmm. I'm excluding myself from the draft. Just like Roman <laughs> Reigns. Because right. apparently you could do that. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I will also exclude myself from the draft. And whether it be President Biden or President Trump can't do anything about it, apparently. Right. Just like how the main officials of WWE couldn't do anything about Roman Reigns with that. 
<laughs> All right. So uh, then Dragon Lee attacked Carlito during a backstage interview. Uh, then we went to the main event match. Grayson Waller and Austin Theory defeated the Street Profits to retain the WWE Tag Team titles. Then, undisputed WWE Champion Cody Rhodes and AJ Styles had a face-to-face -face in advance of their title match at Backlash. Styles slapped Rhodes at the conclusion of the segment. And then, as SmackDown was going off the air, it was shown that Sokoa and Tonga we're having a wild brawl with Owens and Orton backstage. Security was attempting to break the brawl up. Okay. And that is your SmackDown. What are your thoughts? <sighs> Not a fan, apparently. Not I heavy, don't know. Not with that heavy side, doesn't sound like. It's like, I, I understand you're trying to sell a show. It sounds like the tag title match might have been good. Um, excuse me. But I don't know. I'm, I'm not really sure. Okay. So here's what I'm going to say about Backlash. It's weird because Backlash is kind of the direction I want WWE to go. Mm -hmm. Meaning not even the international thing, but even the card of like there's no, I don't, I don't think there's any part timers on here. No, it's not extremely long. It's not a long pay per view. It seems, mm -hmm. it seems like it won't be. But again, how many ads are there going to be? Right. Uh, yeah, and they're like focused. They're. I, it feels to me like they're trying. The problem is this though. When you take away the part timers, you it really shows how. Bad of a not maybe not bad's the right word, but they don't have characters that are super intriguing to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, so like Cody, okay, obviously Cody is the main, um, the main champion, right? But like that's, I mean, okay, I guess the that's his gimmick is you know be the face of the company. He's fighting AJ Styles. Like, what is AJ Styles' gimmick? Like, what is he... What makes him different than every other bad guy? Right. That's And that's a big WWE problem across the board to me. Like, I don't... You know... By the way, we're in a graveyard, in case you're wondering. Okay. Um. So, again, I like the direction that it's going. I'd rather have this than... Oh, let's have The Undertaker and Stone Cold Steve Austin come out for no reason at all. One I thing, I, that. yeah. Go ahead. One thing I will say that I actually like about this card is that there are zero rematches from WrestleMania. That is good. I didn't even realize on that. this card. Like there may be, well, at least with the first one, there are participants from a match that are facing each other on the show, mm -hmm. but that wasn't the match that they had at WrestleMania. Right. It was a completely different match. So there is that plus to, to the show. Yeah. Because there were times me and uh, a friend of mine, uh, Daniel DK, mm -hmm. we would joke that we would call backlash WrestleMania part two. You're right, because there was a lot of similarities in the mm -hmm. past, too, for Backlash. Mm-hmm. But you don't really remember too many Backlash memories. I think the only ones I could think of, like, well, there's actually a couple, but they're not because, I think because they were ridiculous. Like, one, it wasn't Backlash where the whole where to Stephanie was. Yep. That one, I remember the stupid moat match. The what match? The moat. Wasn't there a moat match? A moat match? Where it wasn't like the fiend fought Braun Strowman and they fought in a river or something? Or moat? I think it was a different show. Okay. Yeah. Well, Backlash is also the show where God had his one and only match. Oh, I didn't even realize. I, I knew that happened. I didn't realize it was on Backlash. <laughs> I also remember. Back 
I also remember Backlash being the thing Joey Styles was mad about for not being yes. able to call. <laughs> but you pulled me from Backlash? From Backlash? Backlash. <laughs> like, the show... Like, it doesn't have a lot of good moments. Mm -hmm. if, if, like, you think about it, like... Okay. Backlash 2000 is a good show. You and I, we... I think we reviewed that a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, maybe. I, I remember it being a good show because... Everyone thought, if I remember right, everyone thought that The Rock was going to win at WrestleMania, and he wound up winning. Right, <laughs> right. And then, and then you also have like Hulk Hogan wins his sixth WWF title at Backlash. Mm. Uh, Goldberg and The Rock fought at Backlash. Right, that was Goldberg in ring debut. Yeah. Um, Orton and Mick Foley had that barbaric fight where Orton went into the thumbtacks and he sold like a million dollars that night. Did you see what I just got? Shark baby oil. Baby shark oil. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I've been running around here. Excuse me. Yeah, but like, I can't really think of other moments from back. Yeah. Oh, God. Tissue. Maybe, maybe that'll be our next wrestling project. What? Oh, the, the battle, history of backlash. Battling with backlash. Yes. <laughs> battling with backlash. God. Yes. Oh my god. Okay, I and, and folks, I was not being serious about that. No, no, I'll, please, no. I, I will let somebody else. Take that one. <laughs> that being said, I was interested. I was going to talk to you about it now. I don't care if it's on the air. We could work out the details off the air. Like, to maybe do something and have some kind of competition. Not competition, like a, a, a prize or something that, like, if people come and join the chat, they will, like, be entered into a raffle. Mm -hmm. And the winning person can, like, choose what event we're going to do for the next wrestle quest, Like... In addition to the pre-show of whatever show it's going to be, obviously. Right, right. Just like how we're doing the clusterfuck on this one. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I want them, they have to follow and chat in order to, uh, to enter. And then yeah. maybe you could use your show to actually draw the winner. Mm-hmm. All right, what the hell am I doing here? All right, so the first match is the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship match, the Kabuki Warriors. Who are the champions versus Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill? What are your thoughts? Um, Bianca and Jade, from what I've seen, like, they kind of work off each other pretty well. So, I'm, I'm interested to see how they do in a match, in, in a tag match. Um, I, I like the Kabuki Warriors. I've always been a fan of Asuka. Kairi Sane is just very talented. Um, I just can't see Bel Air and Cargill losing this match. I, I think this is where we're going to get our one title change of the show. Mm -hmm. I think Bel Air and Cargill are going to win. I agree with you. I don't, it, the, it wouldn't really make much sense that they're making such a big deal about Jade Cargill and then she just loses in a tag team match. Mm -hmm. um, unless one thing happens, um, if you could go the route of Jade Car, see, here's what's confusing to me: who are the the good girls in this? Uh, Bel Air and Cargill. Because I thought Cargill was bad. See, I I thought they would have carried that over from AEW, mm -hmm. but I guess. They're going a different direction with that. Okay, so yeah, I was gonna say because if she, if if she's bad, or if they want to make her like into a bad, you know, bad person, um, mm -hmm. why not? Why not have Cargill turn on Bel Air? Right. The only problem I have with that is, it doesn't make sense unless you go by the premise that. WWE women's tag team titles don't mean anything. Mm-hmm. Because then why would you just 
lose an opportunity at a championship. Right. So, yeah, I'm going to go with you. Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair win. And this also protects Jade because she can stay in tag team matches instead of right. everyone waiting for that, you know, moment that she's going to be in a singles match. Mm -hmm. This really actually delays that. And it's actually smart now that I'm thinking it about is. it. It is. It is, because they can still develop her, you know, in training. Yeah. So. What do you think about that? The, this match and Jade and... I, I think it's good. I mean, it's weird to say the sentence Bel Air is the veteran of the team mm -hmm. when she's in a way, I'm not going to say new or n she's kind of new ish as far as like a veteran, you know, like how long she's been there. Right. So, but yeah, she's the veteran between her and Cargill. Yeah. So, but, but, Bianca does such an amazing job. You know, she's a great representative of the company, and I I think she'll do a good job with this. All right. All right, here we go. <clears throat> oh, okay. Ma, sir, you cannot seriously be listening to this flea-bitten knockout. Look, you door. Why do you, why do you injure me so? Your words are like daggers through my heart. I'll be Senor Ramon. Enough! We must discuss the changes to the event. The champion will have responsibility as the face of the organization, which... This is nothing new. I... Which now includes a world tour, doing promotions and appearances across the toy room. Oh wow, what a lucrative deal. I... But I just got back. I haven't seen San Sebastian for months. It's an amazing opportunity to create new fans for the LCW. Farrell Fosto set up the details. He deserves all the credit. See, it was my idea. Me, the base, unthinking worm. No, please, you can't. I just got him back. We just got him back. Wait, what is being sacrificed here? It's like, it sounds like they're going to kill Lochador. <laughs> Lochador, please. We will discuss this later. We, of course, assumed this world tour champion should be Lochador, but I had no idea the belt was such a burden for you at home. If. Oh, you're this side, so oh. you're picking. Let's see. It's no burden, you cockroach. Or you set this up to spoil my return to my family. Um, I'll go with you set this up to spoil my return to my family. If it would be helpful for the Federation, perhaps a new champion is in order. Chinampo Champ is ready to shoulder any burden. Isn't that right, my titan? Him? How do you expect him to cut a promo? It's going to be nothing but moves and cow pies. I mean, that's probably better than a Bill Goldberg promo. <laughs> hey, you don't get to mention him. <laughs> <laughs> I can see this world tour business is causing some distress, and we all need time to think about it and discuss it with our loved ones. That obsequious cur. I should have known the stampede was just his opening strike. Pharaoh Fosto has always conspired and schemed against me, trying to control the organization by whispering in Senior Ramon's ear. I know it's a tough decision, but maybe giving up the belt wouldn't be that bad. Up your brink. Ooh. Are you kidding? Lochador is the title holder. Do you realize what an honor that is? How hard he had to work to get that? Or, yeah, Loach, why not just give up the title? Fosto seems like more of a champ anyways. I will go with, are you kidding? Lochador is the title holder. Okay. 
It's more than that. Pharaoh Fosto is a dog. Yeah, I could. Oof, it, I should go see my wife and tell her the bad news. Alright, hold on one second. I think, uh... Alright, I think I might have just saw what your problem was, but I think we're okay now, right? Yep. You can see, okay. That was weird. That was. I wonder if that's something to do with, with um, the Skype program. and Because this is the first time we're trying Skype with this program that I'm using. Like, right. So I'm wondering if it has something to do with that. Anyway... Uh, things don't look good for the Luchador, do they? Uh, uh, what would that sound like? Okay. They sure don't, DDP, but let's check back with Boxwood and its new inhabitant, Vanetta. There's something about that van that I don't trust. Something unspoken, slithering beneath the surface. Don't you mean under the hood, Slapnuts? <laughs> yes, finally <Yay>! he's back. <laughs> See, just give it a wiggle, and you broke it. Mansis, I thought I had this one. That's okay, Tot. You'll get the hang of it. I forgot that we're now friends with this robot person. <laughs> hey, Boxwood will run out of cars before he's ready. Back off, Merc. Am I Van I think I'm Vanetta as well. I think so too. Stay out of this, you brute! Easy, princess. Don't overheat your engine. If it's such an effortless task, why don't you come show us how it's done? Why don't you? Or do you have a problem breaking into your own kind? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my own kind? How dare you, you ruffian? That's rough. Literally, ruffian. <laughs> yeah, really. I get it. You're scared. All style, no substance. Like putting a lawnmower engine in a Fibonacci thunderstorm. Is that a real... That's not a real car, right? I'm gonna say it's not a real car. Is that so? I'll show you how it's done. James, hand me your Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Oh. You mean the lock out the book? <laughs> you mean the lockout bar? Here you go. You did it! Like pulling a reverse 180 in a Fibonacci thunderstorm. Right, Nuke? Is that the equivalent of, like, taking candy from a baby? I, I guess. See? You fit in good here. Oh, who's this? Uh, I'll be him. It's a robot, right? Bruton? I think so. Uh, too bad you won't be staying, though. Grand Theft Auto, eh? Still a step down from your last crime. Who is this? And what is he talking about, Veneta? James, we need to get out of here. I mean, what's the rush, Vanny? Look here, you barbarians. I know you want me gone, so I'm gone. I won't come back. You have my word. It's not like that, Vanny. We don't need you to leave. We need you to take the fall. Take the fall? Do the job? Maybe. Wait, why is it a handicap match? If anything, it was four against two before. <laughs> well, it's a bodyguard. A short one. 
Alright, so let's... Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the hell? I guess that was a battle I couldn't win. And here I was about to say, alright, let's get to the next match. Uh -huh. Todd, go and get help! Oh! <laughs> I feel like I spent the day at a flea market! Don't you have enough blood on you already? Matches the grease on those coveralls. Ah, ah, ah. Don't just stand there. Help us! Lady, maybe you haven't heard yet, but I get paid to fight. Money is no obstacle for me. Really? Lock and load. Time to get tactical. Hey, Bill, where the hell yeah. is Muchacho, man? I was going <laughs> to ask earlier. Is he still in that jungle somewhere? Oh, maybe? No, I thought he came back. Oh, they're stunned. What a weird section to do this. All right, boys, full retreat. Not so fast, Vanny. V Vanetta, Duke, a nuke, get your hands off me. Just get him out of here, nuke. This is all going to on the invoice, lady. <laughs> As for you, Vanny. We've got a homecoming party planned. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, why, why does this couch smell like spandex and spice? That's because of me. <laughs> How long was I out? <laughs> About 15 minutes. What? Yeah. We're all a little disappointed, too. Wait, where's Vanetta? Those goons took her. They headed north out of town, towards that busted haunted mansion. Oh, don't tell me that Toy Box Jimmy is going to be the main character for this side now. <laughs> <laughs> the Le Cloud Estate? The Le Clue? I thought that place was abandoned. Screw it. I'm, I'm going to go get her. I don't know what just happened there. Like, I... all right. No, I... Screw it! I'm gonna go get her and fight ghosts. Me too. What? Really? That minivan owes me money. I thought we had Nuke in the party. I thought so too. All right, there it is. Now yeah, Toy Box Jimmy is the main character. Toy Box Jimmy wants to know what the next backlash match is. <laughs> All right, Toy Box Jimmy, here it comes. Hmm. Yeah. I gotta figure out where I'm supposed to go, actually. I mean, he said north, but I gotta get out of here first, I guess. Yeah. I don't remember where the exit is. So, Toy Box Jimmy, the next match is Kevin Owens and Randy Orton versus Solo, Sokoa, and Tama Tonga. Alright. What, what are your thoughts on this match? Um, I like that we have Solo finally being the tribal chief, or at least he him thinking he's the tribal chief since Roman's out. Um, and Tama Tonga... Oh, hold on. Yep. You... You come in private? Oh, oh yeah. Let's roll, homie. <laughs> I, don't remember oh, seeing, oh, oh. I don't remember seeing a laundry map before. I feel like that's new. Yeah. But any, so anyway, Tama coming in, you know, it was like one of those things like where you kind of waited forever mm -hmm. for him to be in WWE because he was in New Japan forever. 
Um, and they've kind of done a good job with him. He's kind of been like the silent assassin. Although his nickname by Solo is MFT. Okay. Which we have no idea what that stands for. <laughs> and, I mean, it could it could be my family Tonga. It could be motherfucking Tama. Wait, what is no. it again? MFT. MFT? Yeah. Could be my family tree. I mean, tree. I, was th- I was thinking they were trying to go after in like a parody of NFT. I don't. Right. I don't know what the end would be. Yeah. Um, and then Owens and Orton, they've kind of been friends since dealing with Logan Paul with that WrestleMania match. Uh, I, I see the Bloodline winning this one. I think it's. I think it's a pretty easy one too. I don't. I would be very surprised. But I am going to give you another prediction, in addition to the the Bloodline winning. Okay. I think that we are going to see a new member of the Bloodline. I would think that would make sense. Where do they want me to go? Now it looks like they got you going to the right? To the right, yeah. Oh, unless I... Oh, you know what? Maybe I have to go out that way. Yeah. Now, I have heard the and this has been rumored and i think it is true they have signed um a wrestler jacob fatu okay. i don't know if you've heard of him I, or not. I feel like he sounds familiar maybe why do i want to say mlw yeah that's where he's from is mlw okay and he was actually supposed to wrestle on the clusterfuck show that you and I watched the main match from. Yep. He wasn't going to be in that match. He was going to be in the Punjabi prison match. Okay. But I guess he pulled out because he signed the contract with WWE. Mm. And he has not had a match since. Okay. So I, th- I think, and, I, and I've been an advocate for him for years to be in WWE. I've, like, I've seen him a few times. He has the look. He has the ability to be, you know, a, a, a big time star in WWE. And I think he's, like, just looking at him. He, if Vince was still around, he probably would be, like, pushed to the moon mm. as, like, a top star. Right. I don't know. I don't know how Hunter's going to do it, but he's going to play a big role. Okay. Yeah, maybe him. Yeah, I can see that. Like I said, I just think for some reason, some someone new is going to be joining. Yeah. I I'm very confused here on where I'm supposed to go. I might need you to pull up that walkthrough for me in a little All bit. All right, I have the walkthrough. So let's so. go through it and see where I'm supposed to go after. Um, after I get jumped, basically, from... And then we'll also talk about the next Okay, match. let's see. Yeah. And while you're doing that, I can actually go and, uh, and purchase items. Because I don't really have you that do... many on this side anymore. You do that. Oh, wow, look, I don't even have Slimy anymore. It's not there. Oh, good. Not like he was doing anything anyway. <laughs> what do you mean? I was the best manager you had. <laughs> All right, so we go there. Okay, we did the laundromat. Okay, I see where you have to go. Okay. I mean, you could tell me that way I could head there right after this battle. Okay, so what you're going to do after you win this is you're going to get out of the junkyard. Okay. And you are going to go north of the statue of J.Y. Okay. 
and then from there, there should be like a little river or moat or something. Okay, well, hold up there, and then I'll, you'll guide me through when I get up there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so why don't we go to the uh, the next match? Okay, uh, let me pull that up. This is his best move. He just fires at everyone. Look at this. Hmm. <laughs> so our next, <laughs> our next match is a triple threat match: Bailey defending the WWE Women's Title against Naomi and Tiffany Stratton. All right, give me your thoughts because you're you go first every single time. All right, yeah, pretty much. Um, I I, I like this match because you've got Naomi, a veteran. You've got Bailey, who is over, and Tiffany Stratton, who, in her own way, is popular as a heel. Um, and, and I could tell you in a minute where her inspiration for her character came from. Okay. I, mean, um, I, I, think, could, I think you might like it, actually. Really? Because to me... So I, I watched... We forgot to talk about that I watched the Raw before this past Monday's Raw. Because mm -hmm. I promise that I okay. Look, folks, I'm gonna be honest with everyone. I don't watch wrestling consistently anymore, or like as of late, like I haven't really pulled WWE okay. or AEW. So what you're gonna do? Okay, okay so okay. here. Go okay, so go up to the right. To the right. To the right. Oh, okay. Well, let me buy items up. before I go. Let me buy, yeah. now that I know that that area is there. Yeah, I'm gonna buy items before I, I head over there. Uh, so I watched uh, the Raw, right? Yeah. And boy, it was way different than the one you had me watch. I was like, this does not a great show. Uh, there's nothing that made me like mad about it, but at least not that I can mm -hmm. think of. But I was like, I don't know, there's something like I don't care a lot right now. Yeah. But no, I I, I like this match. I think it's gonna be good. Oh yeah, Tiffany's Bailey's thing. You gotta tell me it's Tiffany. Bailey's history. going to win. Okay, so yeah. So she did an interview maybe six months to a year ago. And she was asked where the inspiration for her gimmick for her character came from. And the gimmick is basically from high school musical. Oh. And cool. Uh, who, what, what's the blonde girl's name? Sharpay. Yeah, that's, that's you know what I that mean, is where the fabulous. gimmick comes from. Oh, that's cool. And then I joked, um, I joked with Fro, watch if if she gets to the main roster, her next gimmick is that she has two brothers that do wacky projects and tries to bust them. Ooh, that'd be fun. If you get that reference, I do. You very good. I do. Can they be on a boat? <laughs> Can one of them no. be named Yozora? <laughs> but no, I with with Tiffany, she's won me over as a competitor. See, I don't know. She she hasn't won me over at all. I mean, like I look at her, I think she's like the most generic person or the most generic woman. Like she's the female equivalent to Pete Dunne to me. So I don't see anything. I'm not saying she's not good in the ring either. I'm just saying, just like Pete Dunn, she's Tiffany that. Stratton, generic name. What's her gimmick? I don't know. She doesn't really have one. Tiffany Stratton, it seems like a name of someone that might start at my job next week. Like, it's <laughs> nothing overly special about, about her, to me at least. Not yet at least. Right. I understand. All right, hold on. We got the ferryman here. I'll do the ferryman's uh, ferryman okay. thing. I'll do a ghost voice, because he looks like a ghost. He does. Welcome to the River Sticks Toy Kit. Did you say Toy Kit? Yeah. It's a bad translation. This is sort of a bootleg playlist. Anyway, how can I help you boys? We'd like to cross the river. I'm sorry, 
You must not be familiar with the River Styx. Only the dead can cross here. So, are you dead? Well, <laughs> no, you have to think about that. <laughs> I can't let you cross. Oh, wait, yes, I am dying. I got hit by a car two minutes ago. <laughs> what about... What about a classy, attractive... What? <laughs> what about a classy, attractive minivan and a couple of Tosca good mobiles? Did you let them cross? Yeah, but they are cars, so... Technically, they're not alive. Uh, guys, aren't we all toys? Aren't we all technically... Is there any way you could let a living, breathing mechanic and his sidekick... Hey! Across? Look, man, nobody crosses here without an empty HP bar, or at least a death certificate. Hold up. Hold up, Private. Where are we going? You heard the man. I have to die. Can't get across <laughs> without a death certificate, right? Let's go get one. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't with this game. <laughs> Which, by the way, I have to save because I would hate if everything got lost. Okay, can I say something non-topic real quick? Go ahead. The other day I was on Facebook and somebody posted this article of how the my pillow guy he recently made some like public appearance and he looks like Paul Bear now. Oh, does he? Ooh. Yes. Oh my Undertaker. Oh my pillow. <laughs> They're oh. really comfortable and made in America. Oh yes. And Donald Trump is still the president. Oh yes. <laughs> um, it still told me to go. Oh, wait, what? It told me to go here. Oh, oh. I know, I see the, the tombstone flash, but now I can't get the flash again. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's... What the hell? Ooh, scary. Speaking of scary, let's go to the. Oh, wait, no, I didn't give my prediction. I got news yeah. for you. I. I think Tiffany Stratton's gonna win. Ooh, okay. Ooh, was that your ghost impression? Ooh. No, that was that was me being shocked at your pick. Oh, that was Hulk Hogan, by the way. Oh, was it? Oh, I didn't realize. No, that. I don't know if it was. That would have been. Funny. Oh, you got through. Look at that. Ouch. What's, the, what's this guy about? Oswald. Hey, why don't you be Oswald? Going somewhere? Stand down, city. I'm tracking down a paycheck. <laughs> Good luck getting through here. Crypt Carl won't let anyone through unless you can guess his favorite wrestler. Doink. <laughs> that doesn't seem that bad. I happen to know a thing or two about Brett what the... Just because you know a thing or two about wrestling does not mean <laughs> you have an advantage of guessing what someone's favorite wrestler is. <laughs> wrestling trivia, at least. Is it, though? There are others around here that may have a hint for you. Here, if they tell you anything, you can write it down here. You got the detective pad. Use this for keeping track of clues during mysteries. Go to the story item tab in your inventory to use it. Alright, so it looks like we're at another puzzle here. Hopefully this all won't right. be as bad as all the other previous puzzles. Right. Uh, okay, let's get to the next match, because we gotta get to the clusterfucks here, Yeah, too. We, we, got two, we got two matches left, so... Actually, I'm gonna get some healing items now that I know where to go. But we'll continue to talk about Backlash. Yeah. Our next match is Damian Priest 
defending the World Heavyweight title against Jey Uso. Your thoughts? Um, I like that there are or there is some dissension among Judgment Day. I think that could play a little bit of a role in the match, but I think Damien is going to retain the title. Okay. I agree with you. I don't really see Jey Uso winning <coughs> at all. Oh, God, I need my water. Um, you know, Ross to- was talking to Ross about this card. I feel like his... I-, I do like his description of this match when I asked him what he thought of the matches. He basically said, it'll be fine, it's just the same match they, they-, they would have on Raw, but longer. Mm-hmm. I think I think that's a very fair assessment of this. Match. Very fair. That is very fair. By the way, he's supposed to join us in chat, or try to, I think, in the next, like, 20 minutes or so for to talk about Clusterfuck. Uh, how many matches are left in Backlash? We have one more. See, I almost feel like I want to hold off on it for a second. Well, I, I mean, we can because I was going to mention. Um, yeah, go ahead. Let's do that. My my nephew Alex recently got into High School Musical. Oh, okay. He um, <clears throat> pardon me. Just had his tenth birthday, so some of the gifts that he got were High School Musical related. His parents got him all three movies of High School Musical. And I burned a CD of the soundtrack, which, and I know she's not listening, but I will get on her anyway. You still owe me five bucks for the CD. (laughs) I didn't even know that people had the ability anymore to, (laughs) or the patience to make CDs with Spotify around. Oh God, it's so easy. Like, well, I mean, because I use iTunes Okay. To do or Apple, whatever whatever they call Apple it now. Music, yeah. Yeah. So it's like I buy the album, which was five dollars, because she was like, no, she sent me a text, because because he's not gonna listen to this. He he doesn't listen yeah, to any no, of this. Fine. He's she's like, okay, if the album is more than twenty dollars, I will hold off on giving him the movies, and I texted her. I highly doubt it's less than 10 or I highly doubt it's more than $10. Yeah. So I, I kind of knew how, how much it was. Um, so yeah, I got this, you know, I bought the album, uh, burned it onto a CD, kept it for a little bit of time. And then she was able to give it to him as a birthday gift. How did he discover high school musical? Uh, this is a guess. Because I have not asked him this. It was probably during a family movie night. And maybe he picked it because he saw and was like, okay, maybe this looks like something. I'm I'm not sure. I I will ask him um, in between now and next time. Now, did he watch all three of them? Or did he only watch one? Or... I believe he has seen all three. Okay. Does he have a favorite song? Not that I know of. And the only reason I say that is I have yet to hear him sing a song from High School Musical. Okay. So, because he, like, he will bounce around on singing different songs. Mm Mm-hmm. Because, like, he's lately been discovering in sync songs, Backstreet Boy songs, and then whatever songs his parents yeah. play him. I was going to say, this has to be the parents' influence because I don't think your regular mainstream radio of today is playing in sync and Backstreet Boys. Or right. Not consistent enough for him to know who they are. Exactly. And then I, I think it was him or one of his brothers. I, I I told them about the the horrors of High School Musical when I was teaching, and how it was 
everywhere. It was like book bags, clothes. I thought you were going to tell me, oh, my students every once in a while would break out in song. No, no, they didn't. We we even had the Got Milk poster with the main characters of High School Musical <laughs> in the cafeteria. Mm-hmm. It was everywhere. And I never saw the movie. Still to this day, almost what? Almost twenty wow, years. That's surprising, later? yeah. Yeah, I have not seen that movie. None of them. None of them. Hmm. I mean, I know the actors yes. or the majority of the actors. Do you know any of the songs? Because I know sometimes that I know boot songs from movies, but have not seen the movie. I know get into the game. Okay. Like that get, was get, like get your head in the game. Get yeah, get your yeah, that get one. Like that was like always the popular one. Mm-hmm. I thought. Oh, it's the all depends. Oh, wait, what's this guy doing? Oh, this is the clues. So I decided to go forward instead of buying items because, well, I don't know if people noticed this, but I only have like 250 slam bucks, which means Muchacho Man has the entire rest of the money. So it doesn't even matter. So I imagine this area can't be very hard if you don't yeah. allow me to all of a sudden buy things. Right. All right. You're going to do all the clue people here. So yep. you'll be smart. All right. Crypt Carl's favorite wrestler is one of the few to win summer suplexes three times in a row. I feel like we should be taking notes. Summer suplexes. I don't know. That... Well, you have to run a bell. I don't know if it's going to be a real wrestler. Right. Summer. Does that ring any bells, Jimmy? Hmm. It could be the Bruder. Ominous, omen pain, or dash talent. Okay. Uh, so no, because so um, I don't know. I was just curious, like you, do you, like if you knew any of the songs, you knew one of them. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. I actually had a case today where I got mm-hmm. mad at someone because they basically called out how old I am. <laughs> so I saw them listening to a um. I saw them <laughs> listening to a song called Stay on their Spotify. Okay. I was like, oh, Stay, is that the, that's the Lisa Loeb song, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know that song, right? It wasn't. Yeah. It's, uh, it's another song called Stay. I want to say it's by Zed. Zed? Maybe. I don't remember exactly. But my point is that, so he, here, let me finish telling the story before I do this fight. Because I won't be able to concentrate. Um, so he says to me, uh, he's like, oh, how old is the Lisa Loeb song? I'm like, I don't know, mid, mid nineties. And he's like, he looked up on YouTube and he's like, it came out 13 years ago. I'm like, no, it didn't. No, no way. And then he's, I'm like, what probably happened is YouTube was probably just like starting to upload music videos 13 mm-hmm. years ago and it's probably right. that's what it's from right so then he looked up and he looks up Lisa Loeb's stay and for those that don't know just in case you're wondering it, it goes you say I only hear what I want to so he looks it up and he's, he said 1994 mm-hmm. he looks at me and he says and I'm not kidding you here he says to me, how did you even watch this back then? <laughs> and I'm like, I was like, okay, number one, we had a thing <laughs> called MTV <laughs> that used to play music videos. <laughs> now you have YouTube, so I guess you wouldn't know about this. Ugh. Uh, so annoying. Uh, Okay, you know what that just made me think of? There's this, there was this video, um, many years ago, I, I, and thankfully it's still up on YouTube. It, it's, um, there was these two puppets, and they were doing like one of those investigative news pieces, like, whatever happened to the M from MTV? So you know they do the whole thing, and it's like, you know what may have happened, what may have killed MTV, yeah. and then at the end of it. One of them goes, I think it died when Celine Dion did that cover of ACDC. And then they show the footage and underneath it says, yes, this really happened. 
It's, it's the know, other. Cool. You don't. Oh my god. What song from ECDC was it? You shook me all night long. Really? I don't think it's. She it. changed the lyrics. <laughs> Cause, okay. Cause the opening line is. She's a fast machine. She kept the motor clean. Right, yes. She changed it to, or she changed it to, you know, he had a, you know, play, basically she replaced she with he. Okay. And it's like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you the video. All right, I'll later. watch it later. On. All right, let's get into the final match here. Yes, the because main of it. I don't know. Maybe it's not happening with us. Go ahead. Main of it. Now we'll talk about the clusterfuck. Yes. The uniqueness that is the clusterfuck. Yeah. Cody Rhodes defends the WWE title against AJ Styles. This is the match I'm looking forward to. This should be a hell of a match. Um, it's Bullet Club versus Bullet Club. Yep. I just expect a great match out of both of them. Cody's going to retain, but I just think it's going to be a great match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it'll be really good. Uh, I, I don't, I doubt that they, are they actually saying Bullet Club versus Bullet Club? Because I doubt that. No, okay. no. That's a good way to, that could be a good way to build it up if, you know, they actually did Things like that. Oh, treasure chest. Uh, what? Who? So, I mean, we both think that Cody's, Cody's gonna win. win. Yeah, that, that would be the ultimate shocker if AJ won the title. Oh my gosh! Like it would. Like you would have the internet going crazy. Like you had this long story. He finished it, and then he loses the next month. Oh my god, that would be so yeah. insane. Okay, it looks like that pumpkin's trying to talk to I you. I know, I'm you? trying to... I've been hitting the button, but I don't know why it doesn't let... But it's not doing anything. All right, I'll come, I'll come back. Unless... Wait, is this again? No, that was here. Ooh, scary. All right, I'll try to do the pumpkin again. Let's see. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, so... Why don't you tell people what a clusterfuck battle roll is? Okay. So this is from Game Changer Wrestling. And what it is, is basically it's the Royal Rumble, except instead of it being 30 people, it could be an X number. So the one that Jim and I watched ended up being an 87 person clusterfuck match. Mm -hmm. It was like two and hours long. Yeah, it was like, I, I did find that it was like two minutes away from being two hours. That's how long the match was. So, I like the rules. I, the rules I thought were pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You could be eliminated by pinfall, submission, thrown over the top into the floor, leaving the building, or death. Yes. Kind of, kind of good timing since we're yeah. in a kind of a death level here absolutely and you from the best that i got you don't get anything if you win you just win correct i i got that as well now i'm not like i don't watch gcw as much I, i'm sure probably rowdy ross watches it more than i do i don't think so surprisingly because he didn't know too much about this until he had to look it up but, yeah, when I saw it, you know, and it was like, huh, okay, this is going on during WrestleMania weekend. It could, and it was going to, and it was after the first night of WrestleMania, which I was not going to stay up for that match. I think it's, oh, the, we, I think it's the same yeah, thing, but same. I want to talk to him because I don't see anything else that I'm supposed to be doing here. Right. All right, go ahead, continue. So out. yeah, it was like an unannounced number of people. Um, I guess there were a few people announced before. I I don't know. Yeah. 
but this match had kind of everything. Mm-hmm. Like you you had ECW guys, you had GCW guys, you had people from Japan, you had people from all over the US. Um like if you want to find something like a match to not take serious, right? This would be a great match for you to watch. And like you said, you need like two hours of time yeah. <laughs> to watch the match. And then one of the things that Jim asked me to find off air was the complete list of people that were in it. Right. Which I happened to find. Great. So let's just go by the 10 since it's so much. All right. Like so we'll do, time. yeah, the first 10. So actually, the before, two that, actually, before you do yeah. that, can you yeah. look to see what I'm supposed to be doing here? Okay, yeah. Because I don't, I, I don't, I don't see anything. While you do that, I'll give my overall thoughts on backlash in the future of WWE for the next month. Right. Um, so, again, I, I can't stress enough. This is kind of the direction that I want things to go for the company. But at the same time, I definitely understand people like, oh, it's too predictable, or oh, it's not the you know the best or card or whatnot. But mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know if that's just WWE's thing because all right, I found a new person. I think so. Here, read this. Oh yes, you did. Okay, I learned that Cap- that Crypt Carl's favorite got his start in horror wrestling shows. And never went on to another promotion. Anything private? There's only a few that fit that description. I'm Miss I'm in pain. Baron Von beat him up and the howler. So Baron wait, were there were there any was uh, omen omen uh, the ominous omen pain in the other description too? Yeah, ominous omen pain was one of the people in the but first description. I think he's the only one, right? Right. So I think that's who it is. I'm going to assume. Yeah. All right. So we'll go back All and right. we'll, let's answer that. And, uh, I think you were doing the right way, actually. Was I? Yeah. No, I want to go back to the original person because I think the answer is I'm going to assume in pain. Oh, okay. So I guess where am I supposed to give the answer? Because I think Omen pain is the answer. I think you got to give it to Crypt Carl. Where's he? I think you keep going. Okay, I'll keep going. Yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah, give me the first ten. Okay. So I think I know so what the, I'm doing now. So the two that started it all were Jimmy Lloyd and Shane Douglas. That's who started it. Mm-hmm. I was very surprised then, to see Shane Douglas. I didn't think he was actually able to wrestle. I didn't think so either. Uh, Then we have Shota, Bam Sullivan, Lindsey Snow, Jason Knight, Rob Shit, the Carnage Crew, and Tommy Dreamer. I like the appearance of Dreamer. Yeah, I did too. That was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another rabbit. I know, there's two of them. I'm going to get this one right here. This one here. All right. The favorite used blue and black face paint. Well. Oh, it's a trick. Baron Vaughn beat him up and Meltdown used to have black and blue face paint, but the ominous omen paint also debuted with that and never used it again. So again, omen paint, that's who it sounds like it is to me. Yeah. He's the only name that keeps getting bought up here. Now let's get to this guy here. Kept Carl's favorite disappeared from the wrestling scene and hasn't been seen since. That can only be the Howler, Ominous Omen Pain, or Meltdown. It's omen Pain. Final answer, Omen Pain. Yep, he's the only one that's been mentioned in every single oh, this, one. Oh, this is the guy you probably have to give it to. But before I do that, what's this? I was hoping it was health. 
<laughs> Newcomers, welcome to my domain. Thanks. It's been great. We're on orders, though, and we need to get through. Ah, not until we've had a little fun first. <laughs> Those who wish to pass must answer a question. What's the question? I think you know what the question is. Shut up over there. <laughs> Who is my favorite wrestler? Omen Payne, right? That's what we're going with? It has to be. Wow, that's correct. You must really know your stuff. All right. That was real easy there. So, can you give me the, um... The 10 again, because I was only half paying attention. Okay. Jimmy Lloyd, Shane Douglas, Shota, Bam Sullivan, Lindsey Snow, Jason Knight, Rob Shit, The Carnage Crew, and Tommy Dreamer. Okay. Yeah, I like the Tommy Dreamer, Shane Douglas stuff. Um, mm -hmm. That was good. Also, I just noticed something. Yeah. And where was it? I just saw a, a rest, not WrestlePedia. What, what did I see? Oh, other achievements? No. Alright, maybe I maybe I'm seeing things. Alright, never mind. Uh okay. so what what about the next ten? Just we'll just give because we don't have that much time left to go in yeah. detail about all this. So the next ten were Just Incredible, Rena Yamashita, Tony Deppin, One Called Manders, Charlie Tiger, Jeffrey John, Facade, Masha Slamovich. Trevor Outlaw, and Frank the Clown. Okay. Alright, how about we'll do this first. Private, I'm starting to question your orders. What are we doing here? There's an undeath match wrestling event here. Undeath? Undeath match wrestling? Isn't that where Grim Jim and Phil Actory got their start? Yeah, it is. How did you know that? You don't have the monopoly on wrestling trivia, Private. Grim Jim did a slam for the troops event back in the day, and I've been hooked ever since. Wow, you've got all kinds of surprises behind that helmet, don't you? Anyway, there's a UW, UDW wrestler that goes by the name of the Coroner. Private... We don't have time for fanboying. Polish it, Nuke. As part of the coroner's gimmick, she slaps a death certificate on her defeated opponent. Get the picture, Neil? So, what? You're just going to ask her to wrestle? Though losing to her shouldn't be a problem. No, Bullet Brain. We're going to steal her clipboard and certificates. Come on. All right. So, so, what, we... so did you get any thoughts on the first 20? Um, I, I, I liked how, you know, you had like some of the vet, you know, like you mentioned Dreamer in there. Um, there were some guys in there that I like knew and was like, okay, I could get with this person and. Um, there really wasn't anything too exciting mm -hmm. within the first 20. Yeah. It's like after that is starts to, you know, get good. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. It was all over the place. I like certain things. It was. I like certain things. I don't know it was place. all over the place. <laughs> and the fact that that match went till almost like three in the morning i know i know oh my lord i i hope those people slept peacefully that night oh i saw oh, no, you, don't, you don't need to read that i'm, I'm oh, i don't need to read no no okay. Okay. i'm just exploring now okay. so you just continue giving me these names what are the next 10 okay. from the club? so the next 10 marcus mathers Pero, speedball mike bailey Paulo Del Mar, Dark Sheik, 
Jamie Senegal, Edith Surreal, To Infinity and Beyond, that's Colin Delaney and Cheech, and the main event, Minus, or Minus, Midas Black and Jay Lyon. By the way, look who it is. What does everybody want? What? No, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to her, the head. Two head. Okay, Al. Boy, that looks like a real safe van. <laughs> Locked. Yeah, that's never been a problem for me, except for this freaking electricity coming out of it. <laughs> right. Alright, well, yeah, let's watch let's watch this guy do. Who's this now? On the corner. You know what this sounds like it would be? A this might be like a female Paul Bear? Maybe. The corner? You want yeah. to try out the corner? Sure. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Yeah, Private, explain yourself. I was just coming to get an autograph. I'm a big fan. Oh, I'm sorry, pal. I'm just a little on edge since someone stole my clipboard earlier. Well, there's the next quest. There you go. Someone's already stole it. I mean, somebody stole your clipboard. Wow. Only a real black-hearted son of a brick would do something like that. It's a total drag. I'm supposed to wrestle Celine Logan tonight, but I just don't think I can do the show tonight without my certificates. Don't worry, Mrs. Coroner. We'll find your clipboard. Yeah. We are super fans, after all. Alright. Alright, so we'll find, the, we'll find the clipboard. And I and I think one of the things to go into this match that I like is how they book the tag teams coming in together. I thought that was weird, because sometimes their tag teams, I guess one of them gets out and they're both out, or... Right. And then another thing that really shocked me mm -hmm. was how fast Mike Bailey was eliminated. Yes, that's what I was going to say earlier. I was like trying to remember. Yeah, Mike Bailey being up real quick. I was like, oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, scan the area, Private. Most of the residents here are incorporeal. There's only a handful that still have the appendages to even pick up the clipboard, let alone the brain power to plan the job. One of them must be the culprit. Or maybe they know something. Okay. Uh, next ten, please. All right. The next you ten. Know, maybe we should just read all of them just and then just discuss it from there. Because I'm going to have trouble yeah. remembering where one thing happens and another oh, thing yeah. happens. Okay. I didn't take so we have, so. from this point forward, the ugly sucklings of Rob Killjoy and White Mike Bang and Matthews, Davy Bang and August Matthews. Boy, I must have taken him a long time to come up with that. Team. <laughs> Bobby Flacco, Terry Yaki, mm -hmm. Ariel Van Gogh, Mr. Danger, Fuego Del Sol, Sam Stackhouse, Green Phantom, Sexy Eddie, Tara Zepp, Tank, CPA, Alex Zane, Philly Mike, Spider Nate Webb, MLJ, Cheeseburger, Man Like Doris, Monomoth, Mercedes Martinez, Kaplan, Sawyer Wreck, Brandon Kirk, Casey Cattell, Jordan Oliver, Beast Man, Viva Van, Gringo Loco, Grim Reefer, The Gobbage Daddies, Cole Radrick and Alec Price, Johnny Cashmere, Big Vin's Crew, The American Giant, Microman, Cheetan, The Fighting Chicken, The Kaiju Crew, Aja Kong, Yoshihiko, and Nick Gage. All right, so let's get some of your thoughts on some of these, some of this participants. All right. Uh, after watching it a second time, I want to see more CPA. Okay. I thought the gimmick was hilarious. 
it's like <laughs> he has a shirt and a tie that he takes off the shirt and tie to reveal the same shirt. And oh, tie. I remember that guy. Yeah, okay. And then he comes out the Shania Twain's man. I feel like the one. one. <laughs> like, a part of me was kind of like, like a, a like a kid in me, like. You know, if IRS had that clip tie on and that Royal Rumble with the title on the line, he could have won it. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, and then Nate Webb. I mean, my God, that dude is so likable. I mean, like, if you've watched indie wrestling in the 2000s, you've seen Nate Webb somewhere, you know? And I love how everybody stops when he comes out does his entrance and then like everyone's all together it's like at the bar they're singing teenage dirtbag oh my god it was so long though oh it was great and they played it again i'm like oh my god i would be losing <laughs> my shit because it's freaking 2 a.m in the morning apparently <laughs> god. and you know what huge props i want to give huge props to, to Dave Krasak. No, not to the fans. Well, okay, maybe the fans, but... I get props to the fans just because I assume some of them went from... WrestleMania, WrestleMania to this, and then was... I mean, because when they did the Teenage Dirtbag song, the, I, I think one of the announcers said that, oh, it's uh, two hours, like, or it's 2 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, I, 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 I you have to get me super drunk for me to be into this at 2 a.m. in the morning. Like, <laughs> like, I would have been just tired, not just because, like, you know, it's... I would have watched... Oh, wait a minute, there was somebody up there. No, I know, I see. I was, I've been waiting for a good time. Oh, no, I was gonna say, like, Dave Krasak and Veda Scott deserve all the props and credit in the world. This was, like, their 10th show, I think, that they did in three days. Mm -hmm. And the fact oh, that they were able to so hang much. on, I know. Okay, here we go. This is some more story, and then we'll talk. I want to talk about friggin' Cheetah and <laughs> Micro Mini or whatever his name was, and Micro Man, Micro Man, and all that. All right, so let's see. Yo, hold up there. This is you, by the way. It's Celine. Oh. It's Celine. It's oh. Spring. Spring's hey, sister. Excuse me? Do you know anything about a missing clipboard? Clipboard? You know, the kind that belongs to someone else? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to go in the store next time and ask. Excuse me. I'm That's looking for a clipboard, and I'm looking for a clipboard that belongs to someone else. Right. Are you accusing me of stealing? No. It's just that some of the locals, well, they said you were a bit suspicious. They didn't recognize you. Didn't recognize me? Come on. I'm one of the headliners, for crying out loud. Huh. Being on the indie circuit sure feels thankless sometimes. Headliner? Wait, you're Celine Logan? That's right. Though, since you didn't recognize me either, I take it you're not here for an autograph. It's a bit more complicated than that. Why did everything just cut off? I get yeah, scared. I, I get scared. I get scared when it comes to that stuff with my with this game. It kind of seems like right in the middle of it all. No, look at that muchacho man! All right, let me see. Now that got me worried about that. Oh god, muchacho man's almost dead. Just like, just in case there's some kind of bet. Well, see, look, he had all the items. Bill. Next time we're here, we're going to talk about, I guess, King and Queen of the Ring mm -hmm. and Double or Nothing. Yeah. But apparently, it's two different days of the week. Yes. I'm not happy about that at all, by the way, because 
that makes things a little more complicated for us. Yeah. Now, what I'm thinking of is instead of doing two days for two hours each, we're just going to do four hours at some point that yeah. weekend and just... I don't know when. It might be after both shows. It might be before both shows. It might be in the middle of both shows at some point, meaning, you know, one would end over the other. Mm-hmm. But this is the time where we would really... Uh, well, okay, we'll talk about the upcoming matches that are currently scheduled for those in a bit. Now, obviously, there are none for King, King of, of the Ring. Ring. Right, because they didn't even have their backlash show yet. All right. Um, but going back to the clusterfuck, so... Yes. Sheetan. How do you feel about Sheetan? Um, I thought it was, like, a mascot for, like, a Japanese sports team. <laughs> yeah. Cheetan was interesting. Um, you know, Yoshihiko is, that's a very unique thing. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the fighting chicken, uh, my nephews would get a kick out of. Mm. They, they just would, because their dad dressed in a inflatable chicken suit one Halloween. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, so I don't know if, like, the design is the same as the one he had. So I'll have to check into that. Um, Sexy Eddie coming out in the nude was... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know who else was kind of entertaining was Man Like Darius. Oh, what, he what was, did he do again? He came out, he rapped. Oh, And yeah, then, yeah. like, he did his own commentary. And then when it was him and Viva Van, and she was going to do, like, the stink face, he faked collapsed. And then when she was turned, like, when she was facing the other way, he was like, yeah, come on, come on, baby, come <laughs> on. <laughs> By the way, you see whose statues we're at now? Oh, God. Booker T and Charmel, there they are. Oh, my goodness. The... We both have a statue i know they don't i know it doesn't mean much but certainly charmel the best wwe hall of famer of all time right <laughs> luke, luke he's a braid check out the true power couple of pro wrestling booker t and charmel all right let's read what sure. booker t i can't wait to read what charmel's is gonna say without <laughs> mentioning booker t's <laughs> all right here we go Known as for his whirlwind spinner Rooney and bookend finisher, Booker T holds multiple World Heavyweight Championships. Debuting in the wrestling scene with his brother, but you're not going to say his brother Stevie his Ray? Yeah, like, right. Booker T also holds several tag team championships. Nowadays, Booker and his wife Charmel run Reality of Wrestling as well as many philanthropic philanthropic endeavors promoting the values of family and persistence. No, he doesn't. Does he really? He does have... Reality of Wrestling is real. That, that is a promotion he does run. I believe that. I don't believe as well I don't as know many about the other philanthropic, stuff. whatever you say that word, endeavors. Yeah, I don't know I don't know about that stuff either. All right, what do you think it's so. going to say for sure now? Oh, oh God. I don't this? know. Face or heel. Face or heel, Sean Mel is always great to watch. Okay. okay, maybe not as a face, but as a heel, yeah. She kind of was. Appearing as a wrestler, commentator, manager, and more, Charmel excelled in every role. Bill, do you agree with that? Uh, debatable. I don't remember her <laughs> as a commentator. Me either. Now a member of the Hall of Fame, Charmel is beloved. Before she was a queen inside the ring, Charmel was a national beauty pageant queen. Now that's true. She, Pretty sure. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, yeah. That is true. Nowadays, Charmel and her husband Booker us can say the same thing. It's yeah. Same thing about the philanthropic endeavors that I don't know if that's real or not. Okay. Okay, sucker. Hi. <laughs> sucker. So, yeah, I, there was a lot of times where I was confused with the clusterfuck battle royal. But mm-hmm. at the same time, I was fine with it because, again, I think it was very important to to note that nothing is at stake. There are no right. 
no stakes that I can tell for for this match. I the 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 one advice I would give our listeners if they want to watch this match, which I do recommend you do. Mm. Don't watch it like all the way through from beginning to end. No, yeah, that's it, a good call. You you need to have a break at some point because the first time I saw it was the day of night two of WrestleMania, and that's when I first told you about that match. Right. I watched it a second time to get ready for this, and I watched the whole thing, and it's like, oh my god, what a mistake! <laughs> like, not not in the sense of it was bad because it wasn't. It was more of the you can't catch a break at yeah, all. No, you, yeah. you know, it was an almost two-hour match. Yeah, it's long. Like I said, for me, that's why the Teenage Dirt Bay thing, I was like, oh my god, how long is this extending this match for? I would say probably do it in 30-minute intervals. Yeah. Like, that's, watch that's 30, right. take maybe 15, then do another 30, then another 15. All right, so. Bill, we have a Luna Vachon statue now. All right. Hailing from the long line of proud wrestlers, Luna Vachon was a powerful force in and out of the ring. With her trademark sneer and snarling, screaming promos, she was a testament to the talent and appeal that female wrestlers could possess. From the other side of darkness to wrestling arenas across the world, Luna Vachon dealt out damage both physical and psychological. Alright. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I don't have a problem with any of that. Maybe you'll have to do a Luna Vachon voice in a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> God, I hope not. Who else is here? The Exidium? Hmm. Free matter. Ooh, I'll be like, whatever. Oof, oof. Careful, brain jar. It's a good way to get a concussion, which would be pretty intense for you, I think. Forgive me, I'm running late. Ah. And now my odds of making it in time are 3,720 to 1. Is that good or bad, Bill? Ah, uh, that's bad. <laughs> hey, you dropped something. Oh, look at this. That's, there's got to be 5,000 slam bucks in here. Oh, I'm going to trash man, so I'll, let's see. Uh, thanks for the bankroll, brain jar. Or, I'm not sure what a brain jar would even buy, but I should bring this back to him. I'm going to say, thanks for the bankroll, brain jar. You know why? Because <laughs> I feel cheated that freaking Toy Box Jimmy doesn't have any money. Oh, oh, Rowdy Ross is on. He said, never tell me the odds. <laughs> <laughs> Ross, we're just talking about the clusterfuck battle royal. What, what do you have to add to the clusterfuck discussions? we got about 20 minutes left here. We're from all over the galaxy, friends. Okay, well, here's my items, Sean. So that's good to know. Yep. Let's see what Ross says. All right. Now, I'm going to go... Let's let's go to the next part of the story, but okay. So, back to the clusterfuck. Like you said, it's long. Very, very long. Yeah, let's get some tidbits here of competitors. Okay. Like, who he was said, under the cheat ton? I, I can see it. It's on the screen. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to say it was somebody from, like, one of the Japanese promotions that was there that weekend. Mm. There were a few people I do... surprised that weren't in it, actually. Like, just... I was... Because Janela wasn't even in it. No, he wasn't. I was surprised. You Effie... remember the old indie clip of the, of CF Punk and the Invisible Man? Yes, no, I don't. I so... do remember that. I don't remember that. Oh, that's a good one. No, uh, I thought Effie would have been in it. He's a GCW regular. Um, I thought. I thought Alley Catch would have been in it. Hmm. So he heard Sawyer Wreck was the girl Punk yelled at. Again, I don't know the clip, so... I, I don't know if it's... 
How old is Sawyer? Sawyer wrecked. That's the tall woman, or no? Yeah, she had the cast. She had the cast, and then they alluded to she left the building with one of the guys, and they were alluding like, oh, are they really a couple? Right. All right, hold on, let me read this. Ross, keep giving us these tidbits. Uh, we'll come back to this, though, in a second. Isn't Malibu Heights supposed to be a beachfront playset? Where are we? Why is Booker T here? <laughs> Looks like we're in a we're in Warp Mart Junction, brother. A spaceport place that. What mask guy were you looking for? I don't know what that's in reference to. What mask guy? No, I was wondering who played Cheetah. If that's what you're talking about. Oh, Barbe. Hey, muchacho man. Aren't you always saying that you're from another dimension? You should feel right at home here. Dr. Jones, your newly developed sense of humor is both timely and slightly annoying. Oh, Rad Cod, I think we've met him before. Yeah. I think it's him. I'll, I'll be him. Whatever. Fuck him. Uh, the human mating dances are disgusting. What? What? Come on. I know how to get out of here, dudes. I wrestled here once. And then I got a text message from Roddy Piper two days after he died saying that he was with Jesus. Oh, God. I can't. Point of the case of the fighting chicken was Mike Bailey. That would explain why Mike Bailey was out so quick. Yeah. This town is a wrestling ring? Sort of, but it's been defunct for a while, dude. Let's focus on getting to Malibu Heights. There's another teleporter pad to the east. The power switch for it is here in town to the northeast, brother. Let's go, man. By the jungle. I mean, you couldn't even tell that I'm in the jungle of this area. <laughs> the bridge too short. Who's this now? Coco Beware! Uh, accompanied yes! by his blue and yellow Mako, Frankie Coco Beware came to his matches flapping and dancing. Decked out yes. in the colorful outfits and an energetic persona, Coco entrance audiences with his vigor and charisma. Coco was a threat whether wrestling on his own or with various tag teams, doling out various drop kicks or his signature moves to end matches. What was Coco Beware's signature move? The the Ghostbuster. It was like a very it was like the brain buster. I did not know that. Another tidbit, I did ring proof for Oh, you did? I don't think I even knew that. Dr. Q, not, yeah, not no. really a doctor. <laughs> Cross. Hey, Jim, if I've learned anything from Coco Beware in life, it is this. Sometimes love is like a slow <laughs> man. You can tiptoe around, it don't make a sound, it make you look, someone look bad. Yeah. Oh. Kip alert, I guess I could just leave it anywhere, huh? Oh, sorry, I was just talking to myself about what to do with my outfit here. It, it's quite fantastical. Why would you leave it here? Because I don't need it. Not anymore. I won't be using it. Not since she left. Aww. Ah, I understand. A case of heartbreak. Wrestling girlfriend leave you in the dust, amigo. I just miss her beak, her feathers, the way she squawked. <laughs> Ross, please keep giving us tidbits about this <laughs> clusterfuck battle roll. Because otherwise I'm going to have to do what I'm sure is going to be a side quest to find this guy and his long lost bird love. Okay. <laughs> My avian training partner is missing. She's gone, man. Forever. I think she flew away on purpose. Alright. You're probably oh, right, no. amigo. Some birds just know when a thing is bad and it's time to migrate. <laughs> Here, let me take care of that outfit for you, or... No, Caballero. There is no reason to give up. It's a reason to get started. If we work together, we can track down your missing bird. Guaranteed. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to get a reward for the bird. I'm going to hurt this one. <laughs> I'm going to get a reward for the bird. I am. I am going to get a reward. I'm going to guarantee it. Watch. I did not have that on my gym 2024 <laughs> Facebook card. 
Really? You think so? Man, you're right. She deserves this one last try out of me. What? No, is it? What do you mean? Isn't Yoshihiko the name of the other? No, the other trigger's girl is Sarah. What? Oh, you mean her, the daughter? I have no idea. Do you know what Russ is talking about? I have no idea. Russ, what are you talking about? Okay, first things first. What's, what is your bird's name? Did he get another concussion at work today? <laughs> Crossface Wing Lock. That's not a great name. Ah, uh, here, Crossface Wing Lock. Here, Crossface Wing Lock. That doesn't even roll off the tongue. Oh, okay. Where did you see Crossface Wing Lock? When did you last see Crossface Wing Lock? It's a little gun in Undertaker gimmick. I don't know anything about that. That was wrong. He's figuring it out by himself, I guess. Now. <laughs> <laughs> at the at the market here in the Warp Mark Junction, I woke up and got dressed to train, but Winglock was gone. Let's go investigate the scene of the crime then. Wait, if she, if the bird ran away, that's not a crime. Bird well, This is Machacho Man we're talking about. Here. I wonder, what are the chances that? me doing this side quest will give me, like, a Coco Beware I don't know, attack. Oh, that would be, oh, like, his draft kick. Ah. Yeah, something. Like, there's gotta be a reason to do this. This is a big place. Yeah. That's the open market. We're just gonna do this. I'd like to try to get the bird quest done before we go. Maybe you Use Frankie as a sidekick. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know what they're doing here, but it's a good thing I said go find that bird. <laughs> yeah, it's the sequel to follow that bird. Go find that bird. <laughs> <laughs> and Big Bird is is uh is colored all in purple this time. Yeah. I just don't know how we got from in this episode, a dead area to this. Yeah. All right, Barbe, you're up. All right. This is one high-tech toy. You got that right, sister. But it's simple to operate, dude. You just press it, like so, and... Sure, sounds quite simple. So easy a wrestler could do it. Maybe you took one too many pow drivers to the mat. Hey, I'm no different than I was before, man. If that, it's this machine. Something's wrong, brother. Lamb. Okay, I'm, you want to be Lamb? Lamb. I know you like that voice. Go ahead. Oh, the device works just fine, my shirtless friend. There's just no power, of course. Well, where is the light switch? Let's give it a flick. There will be no flicking on my watch. Besides, it wouldn't do any good. There's only so much power to go around Warp Mark Junction, and this sector just isn't on the schedule right now. Don't worry, though. We should have power here next week. But the mole brawl will be over by then. I can't miss it, Cabro. If you need supplies, visit the distribution center here in town. All right, back to work. And no flicking while I'm gone. Who put that can eater in charge? To go see cans? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nobody did. That's Lamrock, Mayor Mark's major domo. Enough with the alliteration, robot. You're one to talk. What's the mayor's issue with the power around here? He controls the town, so he controls the power. Sounds like he is the key to getting out of here. Let's find out more about this mayor, Mark. Rush, you have any other cluster fuck notes? Nope. 
Where is the side quest? That's what I wanted to do. I want to do the side quest. Isn't this the side quest? No, because no, because the, that had nothing to do with a bird. Here, quest. All right, let's see. Oh wow, where did I get all these quests from? Jake the snake. Oh, Jake the snake, snake. We never did that. Do toy bears cramp in the woods? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, do they? Let's find out. Let's see. Eliminate the teddy bear pest and ju we never did that either. Wow, there's a lot. Yeah, it's okay. Well, no, I That's think if this is if 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 this is like. They'll be able to do backtracking later if that's if this is like a true yeah. RPG. Like, all right, Kip Alert. Kip Alert is going to quit wrestling unless you help him find his avian partner. Side quest: search the market for clues. All right, so we gotta go down. We gotta go to market. I guess not. We'll go left. We're. Uh, wait, wait, was that? What's he saying here about Sawyer Wreck? Unfortunately, no. I thought I had something else more interesting. My Sawyer Wreck tidbit was the main one, and the Doctor Cube one I pulled out of my ass. But I did do a ring crew for Kaiju. Okay, that's pretty cool. I Kaiju had an event during WrestleMania weekend, right? I'm sure they had to have. They probably did. Right, so there's the open mark. Yeah, and I'm. Oh, here we go. Kip, you don't keep any other pets, do you? No. Why do you ask? And the cross face wing lock isn't a squid bird, is she? What are you talking about? There's ink here. Some kind of squid must be involved. What? Find a find a suspicious what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess I'm going back up here because the question marks up here. I think you're looking for a squid. Okay. That's what I got. Then what's he complaining about a bird for? It's muchacho, man. <sighs> Street surgery. Um... I guess I'll try doing more bones. Street surgery! Get your wear implants and house plants here. What? Oh, this is a side quest, so. What did you do with Wingwalk? Who? You know who, you tentacle trash bag. <laughs> yes! Listen, you quack! Tell us where the birds are. Or my friend here and I are going to find out if squids can fly. Okay, I'll talk, I'll talk. Look, I'm not just a street surgeon, all right? I'm also a part-time liberator of animal companions. So you did steal Crossface Winglock. What did you do with her? I, uh, sold her. Uh-oh. Some liberator. Where is she now? Fire's a man called Lion's Paw. He stays out of the Lynx Dome to the west of town. That means she's somewhere outside of the Warpmark Junction. We've got to find her. What about what about this Marine Maroon? Uh, let's see. Leave him after after our offer to put him through a little science experiment. I don't think he'll be bothering us. Okay. He needs a reason to practice that street. I think he needs a reason to practice that street surgery on himself. On himself. I think. Oh, let me forget that he actually says the line. That's it. We killed him. <laughs> you go scout around for Winglock. I'll return to the Coco Beware statue in case she comes back. We always used to train there. All right, we're almost done with the side quest, and then we'll be heading out. Yep. What's the uh, what's the deal with um, Double or Nothing? Because we already talked about yes. uh, that there's nothing scheduled for King and Queen of the Ring. Is there anything for Double or Nothing right now? They did announce a couple matches this week. Let me get them real quick. 
All right, so it's good. The kaiju's still running around. That's good. We're still running shows. Thanks for letting me know, Ross. All right, so far, four matches have been announced for Double or Nothing. Okay. Willow Nightingale will defend the TBS title against Mercedes Monet. Okay, which we all know who's going to win that one. Yeah, pretty much. Roderick Strong defends the international title against Will Ospreay. That I don't know. I don't really have a clue yet because you would think it's going to be Osprey, but right. But I don't know. I think that I see them pushing him bigger. So well, I'll, I'll hold off on that while I'm giving a prediction on that. Yeah. Uh, Tony Storm defends the women's world title against Serena Deeb. Really? Oh, I'm pretty sure um, Tony Storm's winning that one. And Swerve Strickland defends the AEW world title against Christian Cage. She, uh, Strickland's def uh, Swerve's definitely winning that one. Oh, God, yeah. I don't, I don't see any way. And it's weird. Oh, you know what the weird thing is? Well, depends on what other matches are being set up, but I have a bad feeling that that won't be the main event. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be the main event. And that's a problem to me because it's the same shit that I get on WWE for, too. You better have a good reason for it not being the main event. And 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 I've known you a long time. Like you are, unless there is an exception, the type of guy or the type of fan that all that believes that the world title match should be the main event. Absolutely. Like the example that we used earlier this year where you had no problem with it not being the main event was Sting's last match. Yes. I was very okay with that because it was also for the tag team titles and you know, could argue that at least it was for some kind of title. Mm -hmm. a, a title in, in a main division. This being a tag yeah. team division. I agree with Ross. It, se it feels like Osprey taking that title seems like it is a step down, surprisingly, even though you are winning a title. It, well, it they are, they're also... Yeah. They're also doing an angle where he wants to use ti the Tiger Driver 91, but can't bring himself to do it after what happened with uh, Danielson a few weeks ago. Wait, what was that? What? Wait. I thought it was just a... a, a... What? Hold on. Oh, my son is going to be so mad if I don't get to that to his Thunderball game, but I wrecked my hovercraft. Oh, too bad, pal. Cover craft now? Okay, whatever. I'm just <laughs> trying to get this stupid bird thing done. So anyway, so anyway, like, I'm going the wrong if, way. Ugh. Go ahead, sorry. I'm so if they myself. take into the storyline of him not using that move, he might lose that match mm. with Strong. Maybe. I don't understand where they have me trying to go here. What's this? Wait, what? I can't... Wait, you achieved something? I apparently. Wait, oh, maybe she gave me a charger. Ooh, maybe I will finish this off with a side quest after all. Accidentally. Nah, uh, no. Let me have I think you were heading the right direction. It looked like it, didn't it? Yeah. Well, that has me going this way. See, but then it has you going down. I'm not going to the question mark. That's where I'm trying to go. Because the question mark is the bird one. The bird one. I'm going to have to call it a thing here in about five minutes. I'm going to give myself five more minutes and then we'll start saying our goodbyes. Even though it's no. never been the right time to say goodbye. Let's see. Russ, what else is going on with you, if you're still there? While we try to do this bird puzzle, or bird quest. Three minutes. <laughs> Somebody stay three minutes. Yeah, I don't know where they want. Wait, maybe if I go down this way into the right?
Now I'm starting to wish I said fuck off to this guy and his bird. <laughs> yeah, just uh, put a little shake and bake on him, you know. It'll, it'll work itself fine. See, like, it has me going uh -oh. this way. What? Oh, never mind. No, no. Okay, okay. I, I almost feel like I gotta do this in order to do that quest, because it right. leads me up here. And there's clear I can clearly get there somewhere because this guy's up there. Oh, you know what? While I'm thinking of it real quick. Yes. Um and, and Ross, thanks for saying three minutes. Um they crowned well, tape, but it but it aired today, the brand new WWE speed champion. Okay. What's that again? Okay, other, so other than another title for another freaking Okay. So it's a show that's exclusive on Twitter. Okay. And they have these matches that are three minute time limits. All right. And you have to win in under three minutes. All right. So today aired the final match of the tournament to crown the first speed champion. Which, not surprisingly, is Ricochet. Okay. Is, I mean, is that a good choice? Or... <coughs> I mean, I'm fine with Ricochet. Now, uh, do they defend it on regular TV well, he... now, or no? No, I think it's only going to be defended on this show. You know me. I'm just mad there's yet another title in existence in another wrestling promotion. Stop making new titles, everyone. <laughs> I'm about to give up on this bird thing. Uh, uh, fuck the bird. Yeah. The bird is not the word. And the no, I have not watched an episode of WWE Speed, so... <laughs> Well, according to you, it must be pretty short. If you're saying the matches are three minutes, then I assume with entrances and everything, it's what? Seven minutes long? Probably. Oh, yeah, that's right. You didn't watch it. All right. Well, with an exclamation point, and then call it a, uh, call it a stream. Yeah. Oh, wait. What's in here? Whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a hey. minute. Wait hey, a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> It's... We might get the bird thing. Jump boots. Once again, I stumble on something accidentally. They don't even show entrances. The Twitter uploads literally just start at the bell. Okay. So it's even shorter than that. Yeah. And I guess that's because Ross is, you know, Speed's number one fan. <laughs> he says, I think 80s wrestlers would have been top contenders for the speed championship. <laughs> All right. Well, beam me down and call me a red shirt. You've done it. I got to make space track. I ha got to make space tracks to get to my kid's game on time. But here, take this. Thanks again. A villain's cape. No, I did the wrong side quest. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Where the hell is the? Uh... <laughs> well, let's try this again. Maybe it's up here. The stupid bird. You have a damn bird. This place is confusing. Wait, I see another question mark. I'm going the opposite direction, apparently. Don't you hate it when that happens? You help the wrong I person. You help the wrong person. <laughs> I don't even know where the fuck I am right now. Oh, you're back at the pet shop. Uh, can I just buy him a new bird? <laughs> he won't notice the difference. <laughs> oh no alright he's got five more minutes or 
Only because I found a new area. So I was like, can't sign off. I want to do this stupid mission. <laughs> I'm going to figure it out. I swear to God. Too much of that speed. Yeah, yeah. I blame speed. <laughs> Fucking Coco Beer. It all started with you, Coco. <laughs> Where'd it go? The question mark's gone again. Nobody. Wait, where'd it go? It was up, right? Yeah, go up. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's the this way. No. Oh, oh, I'm bar I'm right on top of it somehow. Alright, so let's say go this way then. Maybe this way and down. There is no down. Sad right now. Maybe go. Yeah, there you go. Nah, oh, won't let you. Doesn't let me go this way. I'm just gonna go around to the other side, and then that's it. If there's nothing there, there's nothing there. Hospital. Can I go past this area? Yes, I can. What the hell? Joanna. I heard I heard a shotgun wedding before, but this is ridiculous. See any clowns around? No, you're welcome. What? Did you shoot the bird? Mayoral palace? The mayor gets a palace? I guess at this point. The mayor knows where the bird is. I can't wait to go to the coil drive when my shift ends. Have your audience permit ready when you approach the mayor. What? No permit? Get out of here, you dissidents. Okay, bye. If you jerk. Alright, Bill, I think we're gonna call it here. I'm annoyed. Oh. <laughs> All right, so tell people where they can find you. All right. Uh, if you want to follow me, if you think I'm interesting, follow me on Twitter <laughs> at House of Bill. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Mr. Billiam85. All right. As for me, as you can see, official RP Jimmy. Uh, like I mentioned before, we're going to do... Oh, look, it's the ring. So let's, we'll have to go here later at some point, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. uh, official RP Jimmy... Like we mentioned, we don't know when it's going to happen, but later in May, we're going to do a four-hour stream, and we're going to cover both the Saudi Arabia show, which I guess is just called King and King, King and Queen of the Ring? Yeah. Okay. And also AEW Double or Nothing. We're going to do all of it in one stream. We're not doing it on two separate days. Mm -mm. All right, Ross, I'll check you, catch you all later, and Ross, I'll probably talk to you later. Um, that's it. All right, later, everyone. Bye.